All right, so we're nearly finished with this fence. Um, it's a really small fence. It goes around a veggie garden and what's going to be a little orchard of miniature fruit trees. Uh, the whole fence in itself is less than 50 metres in size. Um, normally you'd only strain up single panels. You'd never ever strain a wire around a corner. That's a big no-no. Um, but today we're going to break the rules. Because the fence is so small and the panel sections are so short, um, that I'm actually going to break that rule and we're going to strain around the corner. Now there's a trick that you can use so that the wire doesn't dig into the post, jam and end up with uneven strain on each of the three panels. So when you're putting a staple into a post, it's really important not to put the staple straight up and down in the post because you'll see there are cracks in the post. What happens is you open up a crack in the grain and the staple's got these special barbs on it the barbs don't bite into the wood, they just sit in the crack and then the staple can be easily pulled out. So what to do? Always put your staples on a slight angle. If you can at all, bridge a crack so that you know that you're going into wood on both. Get your staple set up and then just gently ease it in. Always leave your staple sitting at about a half inch because you don't ever want to pinch the wire. Now because we're going around a corner what will happen is the wire will sit on the post around here and it's like a big friction brake, like a big friction brake drum. So how we're going to get away with that is we're actually going to put another staple over the top like this and run our wire through the middle. So staple just your corners. Then, the, here's the trick, slip another staple in behind your corner staples. That'll stop your wire from digging into the post. It'll slip smoothly through and your strain will be complete. If you only ever do this for short sections of fence. I would never advocate doing this for a long fence, but when you're faced with really short sections of fence and you want to get an adequate strain without spending a fortune on little ratchet tools, one extra staple on each corner and you'll get an even strain everywhere. Hey guys, thanks very much for getting that far. Um, can I ask you a huge favour? See that little button down there that says subscribe? It doesn't cost you anything and it won't hurt you. Would you mind pushing it? It'll really help support my channel. If you like what I'm doing, I'd love you to do it. Thanks so much. See you next time.